I'm glad to be here and uh, I just wonder for the beginning how many of you know who Nikola Tesla is? <coughs> he actually invented everything what made basis for all modern technology but they wanted to erase him from history because he invented free energy and those of you who know who Nikola Tesla is uh, might wonder what on earth what Nikola Tesla did has to do with some healing work. That was the question I had when first time I had the message Tesla healing you need to reconstruct. It was a question for a while but then it evolved and nowadays we have even scientific proof that the frequencies that we use in Tesla metamorphosis are equal to Tesla frequencies of energy uh, which are getting stronger with distance. Those frequencies are different from Hertzian frequencies that are uh, of energy that are getting weaker with the distance. They are getting stronger. This is the image made by young Serbian scientist Boris Petrovic, where we could see how Tesla actually made Tesla coil according to the energy centers and energy field in a human. When we do Tesla metamorphosis, Tesla healing metamorphosis, we use Tesla energy frequencies, but we don't use any machines. We use them uh, exactly as Tesla suggested, directly from ether. There is some camera that made an images of energy field and just by chance, and whenever I say just by chance, you can put little commas on the side. Dr. Professor Lyubori Stovsky made uh, an image of um, Tesla amplifier with extra coil which was uh, made by a scientist and I think that's an evolutionary thing which was made by a scientist called uh, Goran Marjanovic and this Tesla amplifier with extra coil actually broadcasts those Tesla waves that are getting stronger with distance. Again just by chance the same Dr. Professor Ristovsky made um, images with peep camera during my seminar in Belgrade and those images had shown uh, exactly that we are using the same frequencies and here you can see uh, me during the healing work and you can see that uh, the same uh, pink or um, purple colors and green colors that are um, around the Tesla coil appear during the healing work. Yeah, it is interesting that uh, Dr. Ristovsky s stated that he never um, uh, saw uh, those colors to, with any other healers and uh, during any healing work that was uh, researched through their institute. And now uh, I'll tell you more about this new healing modality called Tesla metamorphosis. There are two things we do. One is called Tesla healing metamorphosis and the other Tesla light body metamorphosis. In healing metamorphosis uh, we actually experience that people report healings from illnesses that are not uh, curable in orthodox medicine like cancer, AIDS, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, uh, lupus and, and so that. on. This healing work is very simple. It's Question. beyond any technique. But the healings happen. It seems that there is a kind of agreement between the person on the table and some higher intelligence. Because yes, I have finished three universities, but none of that helps me doing better healing here. People on the table, um, some are just relaxed, but some can tell me the whole movies after they get up off the table. Uh, very often people see colors 
um, that are like light, or they can hear music, they can hear all chores or orchestras. Uh, yeah, some can see angels and can even tell me how the feathers are laid on the wings. And I always wondered why on earth angels need wings when they can fly anyway. <laughs> yes, and uh, some can feel uh, perfumes, uh, some can uh, feel vibrations or, um, you know, there are very, very different experiences and that is why uh, during the session I keep the room uh, free of any senses, on any, of any music because uh, I want the people to know when they experience something that it's not affected from the environment that that's their own experience. The healings happen pretty fast and most of the time three healing sessions are enough. After the third session it is usually obvious whether there are significant changes or not. Uh, those Tesla frequencies are actually bringing body in the perfect light balance. Uh, it is scientifically proved that uh, each cell radiates light and healthy cell radiates bright vivid light while the light diminishes with sick or old cells. Okay. By bringing the body, bringing the cells back into the uh, healthy light uh, um, state actually brings the healing in. So when the balance of light in the cell is gained, the healing takes place. Otto Warburg, a uh, man who won a Nobel Prize, uh, said that Tesla coil works as a cell accelerator. And if we go back to this image, then we can see that uh, actually as the Tesla coil is made according to uh, the centers of energy in, in human body, we can uh, assume that actually the healer is here uh, working as Tesla coil. The experience is different from any other healing work. Um, here, it's not like in Reiki, for example, that you feel the energy going through your hands, you feel when, it, um, uh, when the body absorbs it, and you he feel when it switches off. Um, it's like the field is created, and uh, the healer, the person on the table, they become the part of this field. Yes, and uh, so it, it is very different from, uh, and the other thing which is different is that uh, sometime uh, we experience um, that um, the body of the client radiates light. We can see some white uh, blurry light around the head, around arms, or um, around the body. Tesla actually um, bathed himself in healing frequencies every morning. That is something which I have found out later. At the same time when Tesla lived, um, was there a scientist, Dr. Uh, Robert O. Baker, who was using Tesla frequencies for healings. Um, there is a book, uh, the, the Body Electricity, written by uh, Robert O. Baker, and there he explains how he simulated the frequencies radiated from um, lizards uh, who can rebuild their um, tails or, or legs. In this book, he also talks about uh, cases where he managed to uh, help uh, kids who had cut, cut off their finger to regenerate the finger uh, just uh, applying the frequencies um, uh, with kids younger than 14. Request I didn't request. have such a dramatic healing case because when somebody cuts the finger, they took him to, uh, by ambulance to uh, first aid. But I had an interesting healing. Um, uh, there was a girl, uh, 21 year old, and um, she had birth deformity. One side of her rib cage was much smaller than the other, and a bit invert. 
and um, her spine was not straight because of that. And after having just three healing sessions and a Tesla light body metamorphosis, which means she saw me five times, uh, she went to her doctor, and uh, if you go on my website, you can hear her mother saying how her doctor was amazed, how only in two months since he saw her previously, this part of the rib cage uh, developed to be equal to the other, and her spine was almost completely straight. But, uh, I personally believe that much more important than healing itself is the process of evolution, especially the uh, evolution of consciousness, which is very important in these years before 2012. Okay. And also it works on um, purification of the soul, which means uh, in karmic way. Tesla light body metamorphosis is very different from what we do in healing work. Uh, the healer needs to activate very specific points and axiotonal lines on the body and that starts this process of evolution. In short, uh, it's about DNA cells. Those Tesla frequencies um, adjust the frequency of human DNA with the frequency of Earth DNA and cosmic DNA. Tesla really believed that everything is alive, yes, even the matter that we uh, call dead. That is how everything has DNA and um, because uh, many scientists uh, state that in 2012 there will be a lot of uh, changes in electromagnetic field of the planet Earth. So this process of adjusting the frequency of human DNA with the D uh, DNA of planet Earth will actually help humans into, to, to follow these changes that are happening on planet Earth. And there, that's why I do seminars to enable as many people as possible to access those Tesla frequencies, to work with them and help heal themselves, heal others. There are actually three levels in my seminars. The first one is about healing, and there uh, students learn how to access the Tesla frequencies and how to use them to perform healing on themselves, on others, and distant healing. On the second level, uh, we teach how to perform distant healing with telepathic communication. To me, it seems that uh, this level is even more important for healers than for the receivers because that's the way to evolve the, the abilities uh, of telepathy communication and communication with pictures. That is how the um, beings with higher frequencies of consciousness communicate. And uh, I find it even more uh, practical than uh, free associations because when we do this absent healing, we don't stop on subconscious level. We go to uh, integrative mind level and to the source where uh, the clients can get messages from higher self. In level three, I teach my students how to perform Tesla light body metamorphosis on other people. Tesla, in his time, he said, I'm not working f uh, for presence anymore. I'm working for future. So hopefully this is that future he was working for. <laughs> Thank you.